Alright, lesson number 7, week number 7 for our Mathematics 6. Siyempre, sa ating quarter number 1. And for this week's lesson class, we have division of whole numbers and decimal numbers. After going through this lesson, you are expected to divide whole numbers by decimals up to 2 decimal places and vice versa and mixed decimals up to two decimal places. The word decimal comes from the Latin word decima, meaning tenth part. Although we are using different notation, we are still considering the non-negative rational numbers. Division of decimals, just like multiplication, can be done using either the fraction method or the decimal method. Example, divide 49 by 0.7. In dividing 49 by 0.7, we have three steps to follow. For step number one, always make the divisor a whole number since it is one decimal place. Multiply the divisor to 10. At the same time, multiply the dividend by 10. If we have 49 divided by 0.7, that would become 490 divided by 7. Now for step number 2, divide the numbers. 490 divided by 7. Sisimula natin sa 49. So, 49 divided by 7, that is 7. 7 times 7, that is 49. Then, subtract. 49 minus 49, that is 0. Sunod naman natin i-divide ay ang 0 sa 7. So, we have to bring down 0. 0 divided by 7, that is 0. 0 times 7, that is 0. Then, subtract. 0 minus 0, that is 0. Therefore, 49 divided by 0.7, that would give you 70. So, para malaman natin kung ang sagot natin ay tama o mali, kailangan natin i-check ang ating sagot. So, for step number 3, we have to check. How to check? We have to multiply 70 by 0 0.7. 70 times 0 0.7, that is 49. The product has one decimal place since there is only one decimal place. Learning task number one. Find the quotient and check. For number one, 208 divided by 0 0.8. Number two, 355.5. And for number three, 312 divided by 6. So, papaano nga ba tayo mag-divide ng decimals to decimals? How do we divide decimals or mix decimals by decimals? These are the steps in order to divide mixed decimals by decimals. Example, 0.25 divided by 0.5. So, as you can see, Nakikita nyo, parehas ng decimal numbers ang ating i-divide. So, para makuha natin ang kasagutan dyan sa mga numerong ating i-divide, again, kailangan nating sundin ang mga steps. So, for step number one, we have, make the divisor a whole number by multiplying it by 10. Or just move the decimal point one decimal place to the right, to make the divisor 
a whole number. And for step number 2, multiply 0.25 by 10 also or move the decimal point in the dividend as many places as in the divisor. Tandaan lang natin na kung ano yung ginagawa natin sa divisor, ganun din dapat ang gagawin natin sa dividend. Step number 3. Divide just like whole numbers. Put the decimal point of the quotient just above the decimal point of the dividend. So, sisimulan natin ang pag-divide natin sa 2, then 5. 2 divided by 5 is 0. Then, 0 times 5, that is 0. Then, subtract. 2 minus 0, that is 2. Then, bring down 5. 25 divided by 5, that is 5. So, 5 times 5, that is 25. And then, subtract 25 minus 25, that is 0. And for the last step, we have step number 4. Check. Paano natin i-check? Multiply the quotient and the divisor like multiplying the whole number or whole number. Put the decimal point in the product as same number of decimal places in the quotient. 0.5 times 5. That is 2.5. Lagi nating tandaan, in dividing decimal or mixed decimal by decimals, we have to use the following steps. First, change the divisor to a whole number by moving the decimal point to the rightmost place or multiply it by 10 if only one decimal place or 100 if two decimal places. Second, move the decimal point in the dividend to as many places as the decimal point in the divisor is moved or multiply it by 10 or 100. Tandaan lang natin, what we do with the divisor, we do the same to the dividend. Third, insert zeros to the dividend when needed. For learning task number 2, divide the following and check. Write your answer in your notebook or in a piece of paper or in a bond paper. Learning task number three, choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter in your notebook. 